stop making excuses for people's negative, abusive, or toxic behavior. It's Coot here, nationally best-selling author of You Are The One, The Magic of Surrender. So often, we make excuses for those that we love. We make excuses for why they act the way they act, why they treat us the way they treat us, why they are behaving the way they're behaving, sometimes abusively, sometimes embarrassingly, sometimes disrespecting us. Allowing people to dis disrespect you is not a sign of unconditional love. We have this sometimes mistaken idea that if I love them unconditionally, I'm going to just understand. If I love them unconditionally, I'm going to just accept whatever they do and however they treat me. If I love them unconditionally, I'm going to embrace everything about them and, and just accept it for what it is. Let me tell you something. Loving unconditionally does not mean putting up with abuse. Loving someone unconditionally does not mean allowing yourself to be treated like crap. This is not unconditional love because unconditional love has to start with ourselves. Loving someone unconditionally, you can love someone unconditionally and say no. You can love someone unconditionally and you can accept them exactly as they are and make a different choice and leave that relationship and choose something else and not hang out with them and not call them back. You can love them exactly as they are. Like they don't have to change. They don't have to be different. They don't have to do anything other than what they're doing. But many times you see, we don't, we don't want to take that responsibility we're afraid to completely accept what they are because sometimes the full acceptance of what they are scares us because now we know we may not be left with a choice. So I wanna make clear that total acceptance of who someone is and unconditional love does not mean abuse. It might mean I accept you as you are and I'm going to love you from afar. I accept you as you are and who you are is fine it just doesn't work for me i often say look i love everyone unconditionally and i have a perfect relationship with everyone some people i just choose not to be around and they don't need to make any they don't need to be any different they don't need to grow they don't need to heal they don't need to evolve i accept them exactly as they are but now what that does is it puts the responsibility back on you to love yourself and honor yourself and make the choices that are self-honoring you see, relationship is a mirror. In relationship, you attract to you a person in a particular moment of your life that is a vibrational match, that resonates with who you're being, that is a vibrational match that you attract to in that particular moment because you and that person have certain lessons to teach each other. Karma, lessons. Life is about lessons and growth and evolution. And the person you attracted in that moment is showing you something. And so every single person you're in relationship with, ask yourself this question. What does this person reflect to me about myself? If relationship is a mirror and there is no relationship out there and you've attracted someone who is maybe disrespectful, not honoring, is cheating on you, ask yourself, what does this reflect to me about myself? And if you really want to shift the dynamic, what does this reflect to me about myself? And what do I need to heal within myself? Because if you focus on healing within yourself, if you focus on loving within yourself, if you focus on honoring within yourself, not only will you shift, but you, you will begin to attract someone different into, into your life. Now, that doesn't mean, that responsibility doesn't mean you have to put up with what they're doing. You have to put up with that person's cheating. You have to put up with that person's disrespect. It might mean you can learn the lesson. And sometimes part of learning the lesson is not to continue. Sometimes part of learning the lesson is to leave. Sometimes being unconditional to yourself and that person is to leave. Accepting someone's negative, toxic, abusive, disrespectful behavior doesn't serve you. And it also doesn't serve them. Because when you just accept that low vibrational negative behavior, you are also condoning you are also allowing you are also perpetuating them continuing to be who they are do what they're doing you're not giving them the invitation 
to rise above, to question themselves, to heal, to check themselves, to look at themselves. Like, hmm, why does that person not want to hang out with me? Why did that person break up with me? You're not giving them the opportunity to look at themselves. And, and as a result of your unconditional loving and acceptance, which really isn't, it's enabling, you're enabling them to stay stuck. True love is serving someone's soul. And you serve someone's soul when you honor yourself and you follow your truth. Love yourself. Unconditional love doesn't mean accepting abuse. You, people treat you how you teach them to treat you. So how are you treating you? It's time for a new beginning. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's short video blog. If you did, share it with those that you love. Make sure you click the subscribe button on YouTube and uh, enter your name and your email, Coop Black, at, at my website, Coop Blackson.